Can y'all believe I used to think that The Simpsons was a black family? Let's get into it. Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to Ella Pastoral. If this is your first time ever coming upon this channel right here, typically I make videos relating to all of my favorite pieces of media. And in today's video, I am going to be talking about why I used to think The Simpsons was a black family. And why is Loki so outrageous now that I really think about it? So if you guys hadn't seen Harry's video that she made in November, she was practically talking about how The Simpsons and Spongebob was practically going through a renaissance and how a lot of these newest seasons are actually really good in terms of giving us content. I decided to just watch a couple of the newest episodes of the new seasons just to see like, is it good? And yes. A lot of the newest episodes in these new seasons are actually hilarious and funny. But as I was watching these episodes, I was really thinking about how I used to think The Simpsons was a black family and how a lot of the episodes that we got in these newest seasons kind of still lead me to believe that. But let me explain. So if you guys don't know, when it comes to black people, we have some of the most diverse hair types in all of the other racial groups. For example, I would say that our hair types typically range from like 3C to 4C and that is a wide range of different hairstyles and as a black person i have to say that our hairstyles and our hair types are very crucial to our identity like the fact that i have 4c hair y'all can't really see because i have braids right now but when i have my afro out or when my hair is in a high puff it is a huge identifier of the fact that i'm black we can even see this with people who don't have a lot of melanin like ice spice like ice spice she has extremely pale skin but the fact that she has her little like annie fro thing going on really lets people know that ice spice is indeed black she might not be fully black but she does have some type of blackness going on for her right and that is what my main talking points for this video is going to be the importance of hair typing and why that led me to believe the simpsons was black so in the town of springfield all of the white people are yellow and all of the everybody else has some type of other pigment for example i think the indian family that runs like the supermart they have brown skin i forgot the character um it's either lenny or carl those two characters are literally the same person but different colors but lenny or carl editor me will put a picture for you guys to see what's going on and due to the fact that he has brown skin that lets us as the audience know that he is black he also has some type of 4c hair action going on and we also see this with the other black family in springfield which is the doctor and his wife they are definitely brown skinned <laughs> i'm sorry i love saying that and they have some type of textured hair situation going on well for the white people of springfield all of them typically have about the same hair type 1a to maybe 2a on a good day i'm thinking about lenny or carl the, the whites one of the duo from the bar i'm thinking about hamish i'm thinking about principal skinner the superintendent all of these people typically have like really straight hair and very rarely do we have people with a little bit of some curl action but when i typically think of a white person in springfield i'm really thinking of the fact that they are yellow skinned you know because that's what the simpson does to indicate that someone's white and they have some type of straight hair action going on i think the other person i was thinking of who has some type of texture to their hair is mr burns's sidekick i forgot his name but you know his gay sidekick who's looking in love with him he has some hair texture thing going on but what led me to believe that the simpsons was a black family most definitely has to be the characters of marge lisa Bart and Maggie. This video was able to be made thanks to all of the support from my lovely Patreons. Thank you guys so much for supporting me in the year of 2024 as I make more video essays. Now let's get back to the regularly scheduled content. In a lot of the media that we have in America, we do not have good representation for different hair types. Like I keep talking about this on my channel, but as a black woman, I really get to see people who look like me, let alone people with 4C hair in the media that we consume, especially cartoons. For example, a cartoon that I love, 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 love so much, and you guys probably know this too, is Winx Club. And Winx Club to this day does not have any like 
kinky hair texture. In fact, as the seasons progressed, Aisha's hair, which I have to say is maybe 2C on a good day. I'll actually pull up the hair typing chart and let y'all see what I'm talking about. But my good sis, she's black, but she didn't really have any typical hair textures associated with black people. I actively remember there was an episode in Winx Club where there was somebody who did have coarser 4C reminiscent hair and Winx Club as the show actively shamed her for having that hair type. I'm going to insert the clip for you guys to watch but when I tell you guys it was madness it was madness. So whenever I do see some type of kinky coily representation on the screen in my head I'm like is this person a black person and that is the same vibes that I got from the Simpsons but a lot of the blackness vibes that I get from the Simpsons specifically comes from Marge's side of the family the Bouviers guys I literally had to go to Google to find out the pronunciation of that name I was struggling so bad but when you look at Marge's side of the family you really get to see that there's there's some type of extra spice going on. I'm going to be putting up the family tree of both Homer's side of the family versus Marge's side of the family. But when you literally look at Homer's side of the family and you look at Marge's side of the family, I have to say that Bouvier, the Bouvier side of the family, is giving some type of ethnic hair, hair typing. So we're going to start with Jacqueline Bouvier, which is Marge's mom. And you can see that her hair defies gravity. For those who've never, I guess been around black people or maybe they don't know about hair typing the thing about a lot of black people's hair is that it's known for defying gravity like our hair grows out and then down instead of just growing down and i really feel like we can see that same you know concept being applied to the bouviers and even though i feel like marge's dad's hair isn't giving the same texture as Jacqueline Bouvier's it still is giving a little bit of something something you feel me and like I said we don't have a lot of thick coily kinky hair representation in media so when I saw hair defying gravity situation being applied to Marge's family it made me think like what's going on here and it isn't just like a one-off joke between the characters because sometimes when it comes to character designs like it's an ongoing gag but it literally is genetics because when we look at Marge's generation they still have that kinky coily gravity defining hair situation like we know Marge her hair goes up to the sky and it never comes down my good sis her hair never goes down unless she gets a press or a silk press and when I saw her transformation from having her hair like kinky coily and up to straight and silky and down it really reflected my experience as a black woman when I get a silk press out and I don't know it just gives and especially with the fact that her sisters also have like a kinky coily hair type situation I was like guys like let's look let's look because when you look at Patty and Selma their hair does go down more than Marge's does it still gives 4C hair in my opinion I'm gonna be inserting some hairstyles that really remind me of Patty and Selma's look because for me my hair literally looks like Patty sometime when I do the middle part slide situation and Selma's hair reminds me of a slick back bun situation I don't know when I see these characters come up it just gives it just gives black to me and so now I want to talk about the third generation in this family which are our beloved children Bartholomew Simpson Lisa Marie Simpson and my good sis Maggie so the children of the Simpsons family they are also an anomaly in terms of character design because they're hair doesn't look like either of their grandparents and this is my own personal theory on why so like I said the reason why I thought the Simpsons was black was mostly because of Marge's side but the way that the children's hair is drawn kind of cemented this in my mind for me it isn't just the way that the hair looks that makes me think that the Simpsons are black or at least mixed because I'm thinking that Marge got some black ancestry and Homer is just white and the kids are giving mixed dish like you know the show mixed dish but it's also the way that they be acting in episodes from time to time so for example there was a recent episode where Carl I finally figured out his name his name is Carl the black one he had to try to figure out his black identity because he wanted to date a black girl and she was like you don't know who you are so obviously I can't be with someone who's lost like that and Carl goes through this whole journey of discovering his black side he wants to look cute for this date with this black girl so he went to the black side of town in order to get a haircut and tell me why Bart is there. Bart is there and they know him. Thank you, sir. I top fade. Time to massage. Mind it up. Bartholomew, my man. You are a regular here. No one gets a ride like Clarence. 
And when I was watching that episode, it reminded me of the fact that I used to think that The Simpsons was a black family or at least a mixed family because what is Bart doing in a black barbershop? And he knowing all of the special terminology and catchphrases and stuff, he's talking about how he wants them to, you know, get the sides and stuff. And I was just like, yo, I don't know what to say, but my brain is thinking, my brain is thinking things because I always thought that he had a high top fade. I'm going to put a picture on the screen for you guys. And that's what I thought it was giving because in in the world of the Simpsons I really feel like we got two skin colors yellow and brown and I was like what would happen if you're like a light-skinned black person like I Spice or Logic I'm sorry <laughs> oh Logic or Halsey you know where you have some type of black situation going on but you're not dark you know and that's what made me think of this whole entire concept I also wanted to share this picture of Lisa with some type of braid action just to add evidence to my points because guys I really feel like I'm on to something here and whenever i saw the simpsons hairstyles especially the girls like maggie and lisa it was just so reminiscent of how versatile black hair is i'm going to insert a picture of kodak black trigger warning kodak black but black people are able to do the spiked hair look with their hair so i'm like it isn't out of the realm that lisa could just be crunching her hair in certain shapes like there is this one black tiktok cosplayer i'm going to see if i can find a picture of her but she's just able to turn her afro into so many shapes and i'm like this concept can also be applied to lisa and maggie and as i was binge watching a lot of the simpsons shows whenever lisa changes up her hair her hair kind of always stays in the spiked what some call it spiked hairstyle unless it's chemically treated like how she practically had to get a silk press in order to turn into a brunette so people can take her more seriously and i don't know guys that is just a thought that i've been having as i'm binge watching the simpsons and I know it might sound really outrageous and it might sound nonsensical and maybe in the 1054 million episodes that they had in The Simpsons, they addressed this already. But I was really like, oh my goodness, are they like some type of French Creole, like Beyonce's family? I know it sounds outrageous when I say it out loud, but a lot of these episodes that I've been watching, they, they've really had me thinking. They really had me thinking and I don't know, guys, I just wanted to come here and make a short little video just discussing my thoughts thoughts on why I thought the Simpsons were black. I know that was practically a nonsensical rant, but this was just like floating in my mind for so many days and I was like I have to tell somebody about this because I feel like you know I feel like I'm onto something here um if you guys like this video please hit the thumbs up button it really helps me so much and really helps push the video and the algorithm if you had your own speculations about the Simpsons race or if you've noticed what I noticed let me know and if you guys want to see more of me make sure they hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video bye